Okay, so number one is he'll he'll talk to his friends and family about you. He'll invite you into different aspects of his life. He might invite you to meet his friends. He might invite you to meet his family. He'll go and meet your friends. He'll go and meet your family. So that's number one. And you're going to be doing things more that involve more than you guys just going out and hooking up. And this, what this means is that he really trusts you and that he likes you enough to include you in the rest of his life. That's what it means. It means that he trusts you. He, it means that he likes you. It means that if he thinks that if he brings you around his friends and family, that you're not going to be embarrassed of them, that he's not going to be embarrassed of you, right? He's proud to show you off. He's proud to show you, show them that you're around him and you're reliable enough in order to do that. Number two is he deletes his dating profiles. And really what this means is that he's done searching and is certain that he doesn't really care about meeting anybody else anymore and that he's he wants to or he is getting his needs met through you and or uh, it could be other people if he's seeing other people as well. But it means that he's getting his needs met and that he's not searching anymore for anybody else to be in his life. Sign number three is he gives more than he takes. And so what this looks like is he puts in effort, he gives you compliments, he goes out of his way to meet up with you and see you and and he pays attention to you. He might end up buying you things or doing different things. Really what this means is that he wants to impress you and that he's investing in you and if you know anything about, we've talked about this in some of the other live streams and videos that I've done where I talk, it's basically, it's called the, the sunken, sunken fallacy. <laughs> I can't, can't remember the name of it right now, but it's something about a uh, sunken something fallacy where basically the more somebody invests in something, the more that they feel like they're really attached to it and they're committed to it. And so a guy will invest a lot in you if he believes that he wants to be a part of you and he wants to be uh, kind of with you for, for a while. Guy, guys will invest in you if they feel that way. Number four is he's reliable and he's consistent with you. So he plans to meet up with you consistently every single week. And he, so, so for instance, if you guys are dating and first it's kind of like, Hey, you know, let's do this, you know, are you free then or whatever? Right. And I'm not sure really if I, I'm going to have that time available or whatever. And eventually what he does is he, he'll end up sculpting out like a piece of his life where he kind of fits you into it. And he's like, okay, every week I'm going to make sure that we meet up and I'm going to have some space available to meet up with her. He'll, he'll figure out what's going on with your schedule and what your schedule is like. And then he'll be like, okay, every week we're going to do this at the same time. Or, you know, I'm going to have this time available for myself so that we can end up meeting up because she has become more of a priority for me in my life over other women, over other events, over other things that I might be doing. And so... Really what this means is that he's created a space for you to be there. So number five is he makes things easy. And so what this looks like is that you don't have to worry about what he's doing or where he is or how he feels or what's going on. He'll make it really easy for you guys to meet up together. He'll stay in communication with you. He'll talk to you about things. He'll connect with you in different ways. He'll make it really easy for you to be a part of his life. And it, really what this means is that he wants to have you in his life. So number six is that he actually wants to get to know you, to know more about you and your personality. And so he'll start paying more attention to you. He'll start listening to you. He'll ask you questions. He'll learn about you. He'll learn about things that are going on with you. He'll learn about the things that you like and the things that you don't like, the things that are your favorite, things that aren't your favorite. And he might kind of surprise you with things around that kind of stuff. 
And basically what this means is that he's deeply attracted to you. And so that's one through six. And like I said, number seven is the most important one. If it's not there, then <laughs> none of this means necessarily that that you are going to get into a relationship. And so number seven is that he'll unapologetically, he'll be, he'll be very unapologetic about wanting a relationship with you and to be exclusive. And usually it starts off with being exclusive and he'll kind of talk about that and he'll talk to you about it and he'll ask you about it or he'll say something to you about it. And the other one is he'll be unapologetic about being in a relationship with you. And so if you bring up either one of these things, it'll sound something like, yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, I have no problem with that. Or, you know, yeah, that's what I, we were doing this whole time. And, and sometimes it'll even seem like, you know, he'll be like, yeah, what do you think we're doing here? Right. And, and basically that's him communicating with you and telling you that, he actually does want a relationship with you. And so if you do bring it up or he brings it up, it's very clear that he wants a relationship. He doesn't beat around the bush. He doesn't, you know, do a song and dance trying to like, you know, get you off the subject or weave around it or not tell you an answer or any of that kind of stuff. He'll be very straightforward with you about actually wanting a relationship. And, you know, one thing to note is that if you don't talk about it, then you can just assume that you're not in a relationship. And that's why number seven is so important. There was a woman in our community today that I was chatting with who was talking about how, you know, she's been seeing this guy for months and, and she didn't want to give him the wrong impression that she didn't want a relationship and they've been sleeping together and all that kind of stuff. And she's like, well, I don't want to give him the impression that I don't want a relationship. And it's like, well, you, you guys kind of like <laughs> jump the boat on that one, right? Like you need to talk about that earlier in kind of the dating situation that you're in, in order to make sure that you guys are on the same page there. Because if a guy's interested in a relationship with you, he'll know pretty pretty early on, like really, really early on with the first, within the first few dates and within the first six months, he'll know absolutely for sure what kind of a relationship he ultimately wants with you, whether it's something casual, something real, or actually going through the entire marriage thing altogether. And so he'll know exactly what's going on by the six month mark. And so you should have talked about it way, way before then. I keep getting questions about that where they're like, well, you know, we're hitting the six month mark. Should I ask them if we're in a relationship yet? And it's like, oh, man, you guys should have talked about that way before the six month mark, right? And by, it's just by that time, by the end of that time, he knows for sure. And so if he's still waffling after the six month mark, studies have shown this where they've there's, they've surveyed and interviewed guys about this and pretty much unanim unanimously they've figured out that guys by the six month mark know exactly what kind of a relationship they want. And so if they're not talking about that, if they're not being clear and concise with it when you bring it up or talk to them about it, then basically you need to know that that's, it's probably not going into a relationship ever. And so you, you need to think about what you actually want and what's, what's good for you and whether you want to stay in that situation or not. Okay, so I'm going to go back over the seven different signs. So number one is he talks to his friends and family, family about you. He invites you into different aspects of his life and he does things with you more than just hooking up. And, you know, this could be inviting you to meet his friends and family or going and meeting with your friends and family. Number two is he, he deletes his dating profile. Number three is he gives you more than he takes. Number four is he's reliable and consistent with you. Number five is he makes things easy for you. Number six is he actually wants to get to know you more, more about you and your personality. And remember those six are important there. If they're not there, it's a huge red flag and the most important one is number seven. He's unapologetic about wanting a relationship and to be exclusive with you.